Good morning, friends. Today we'll cover chapter six on our tutorial series on Apache Spark in Java. And this in this chapter we'll cover Spark RDD actions, and we'll cover the first three methods: reduce, fold, and aggregate. So let's cover the reduce function first. So it aggregates the elements of the data set using a function, which takes two arguments and returns one. The function should be commutative and associative, so that it can be computed correctly in parallel. So as discussed before, that once a Java RDD is, object is created uh, using the Spark context, the Java Spark context, and we got a set of data, we can create it using a parallelized method or using an external data set. And after that, uh, once we have the Java RDD, we can use uh, 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 various actions to perform some, any action. So in this one, we will cover the reduce function. In functional programming language jargon, this is referred to as a fold because we can view this operation as repeatedly folding a long piece of paper, our stream, until it forms a small square, which is the result of the fold operation. So just think about it, guys, that because Spark is, is uh, always used in the context of big data. And among all that tech big data, we want to have uh, uh, like we have want to reduce all that big data into a set of uh, into very small values. For example, we can we want to get the maximum out of all all that data, or the minimum, or we can do various type of like other uh, grouping operations. So the ultimate goal is that we have got this big data, and we want to reduce it to a smaller value, which is a uh, which can be which is a sort of like accu accu uh, accumulator or aggregated value, whether the max, min, or whatever. So for example, we have already covered before that we can do a max, min, or sum for all that big data, which reduced to a single value. So that's the idea, to reduce all that big data to a single value, representing the sum or the difference or the maximum or the min or the total or various other summary statistics. So enough of the theory now, let's dive into the IntelliJ code and we will write some code, unit tests to understand it better. So I'm already in my IntelliJ and I have created a new package in my test Java and uh, this chapter is chapter six, uh, chapter zero six RDD reduces. And here inside this, I will created this class RD, RDD reduce test. And we will write some unit test case that we uh, for uh, doing the reduce fold and aggregate methods. So let me start here. Just to save some time, I will copy this, uh, the very first uh, initial things from here. So let me copy this spark conf, the config that we have here into this, our new reduce test class. So I'll just copy, pick, control C, control V. And I will change the name here of this app name as this. And we're setting the master as local star, which means that we are using, going to use all the core in, our, in the local. So I've got four CPU cores, so it will use all those four threads to create this Spark on. Okay, and, and I will, uh, here also I will create a, date, the, a list of data, which would be used for uh, the reduce function unit test. Okay, so the final, uh, I will use a list of double, okay. And I'll just call this as data. And I will, okay, all enter list, okay. And then new array list. And after that, I will just create a setup method here. So what it will do is, uh, instead of setup, I will do a before all method. Okay, so not only for each unit test case, but I will just initialize it once because we're creating several uh, test cases, right? So I will just do it, we can create this file once. So for that, I will do alt insert and before class method, okay? This is called before all. And inside this, I will create a, a size of say 1 million. Okay, data size of 1 million. And in Java, we can use like this. Okay, this is 1 million of size of data. And now for each of them, I will initiate this data. Okay, for i is equal to 0, i is less than data size. Okay, and here, now I will add some random numbers, some random double uh, numbers to this data. So I will use add. And here I will use, so I will say 100 multiplied by say thread local random. I will use thread local random 
to generate a local random dot current dot next double okay uh, and once this is created so this this expression will create uh, a random random double number from 0 to uh, between 0 to 0 to 1 in a double format so it can be 0 0.99 0 0.98 something and once the, and then we multiply it with 100 so it will be giving me a number between uh, between the 0 to uh, 99 or something and then after that i will add say 47 okay in that case i will be having a small range of uh, numbers between anything between 47 to 147 around that okay and this is just like random number generation and we added it to this and also i will write assert equals that to ensure that assert equals and i will use this data sizes exactly what i i actually want which would be data dot size okay alt enter assert equals okay so control alt l so what we are doing is that we are creating a data a list of data or double data and we are putting around random numbers random double numbers of size uh, 1 million in this data so this this is the data that we are going to use for demonstrating our reduce functions okay so let's now actually write our data is prepared here before all which means that for all the just when we start this unit test it will create it once and it will be the use same same for all the all the unit tests okay so okay now let's write our first unit test case for reduce which we have learned here so we are going to use reduce and uh, create the rdd out of, out of that data and use this max min and sum and other actions using the reduce method 